AEW, obviously, going through a, a time right now when it comes to its its ratings, when it dynamite, but the answer is right there. You know, I'm just going to read this right off the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. Amid rumors that surfaced this week that former WWE employee and occasional wrestler Shane McMahon had thrown out feelers about coming to AEW, that is apparently news to owner of the company, to the owner of the company, in a quote given to Dave Meltzer for the newsletter this week, AEW head Tony Khan said, I've never met him or talked to him in my life. On an episode of Grilling JR this week, Conrad Thompson and Jim Ross followed up on a conversation they had had the previous week about the possibility of McMahon, son of Vince McMahon, coming to AEW. Thompson said a mutual friend of he and Ross texted him out of the blue to say the idea was not as crazy as some might think and that McMahon had reached out to AEW wrestling to hypothetically discuss the idea. Meltzer reported that some higher-ups on both sides of the food chain assumed to mean both WWE and AEW said they've heard nothing close to the rumors, while others he spoke with said they have heard nothing other than what Thompson said. Meltzer said another person mentioned to him in a conversation about McMahon and an ex-WWE wrestler currently in AEW. McMahon and the wrestler were chatting about the attention it would get if he came out on Dynamite, however, the conversation was not a pitch for that to happen. Obviously, the last time that Shane O'Mac was in a wrestling ring, it was that magical moment at WrestleMania 39 where he came out for a match with The Miz and tore his quad. <laughs> Taurus Quad and Snoop Dogg had to save the day for everybody involved. It would get attention now, wouldn't it? What an all-time great wrestling moment. It I may was. have to go back and watch that after this show. Anything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Except except for the fact that the the one guy who was probably the highest out of anybody in the whole arena was able to pull it together and salvage something out of that segment. Just absolutely tremendous. Shane McMahon, for better or worse, will always be known as son of Vince McMahon. It doesn't matter if he buys WCW. It doesn't matter if he survives a crash into the Hudson or Potomac River or whatever it was and make it out alive. What was a helicopter crash he went Something down like in? That. Yeah. And they interview him. Son of Vince McMahon. What about all the things Shane McMahon's done? He's been a champion. He was the owner of WCW, trained in Muay Thai. One of the, uh, what was it? The uh, green, what was his team? The, 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 green, the, the Mean the, Street the, Posse. Mean One street of the posse mean street, the leader of the Mean Street Posse. I don't know what I was even going to call them. Um, I, I selfishly, <laughs> hell. Did he not try what to if, bring video what if we find China? Out, Hey, he did. What if we find out that Shane McMahon's been the one pulling the strings for the Young Bucks? Maybe that well, could be the thing that turns it around. I it would, for the young bucks or he needs Okada. Well, look, he needs you know Tony needs somebody to step in. I mean, there are all, there are all sorts of ways he could work into that storyline, and of course, the storyline with Christian where he comes up to him and goes, "You know, you've really never had a father." What was this whole true. segment a setup for that? No, but you know it's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is kidding. ridiculous i don't think it will I, you know what i take it back i don't know how rid it's ridiculous but to say it'll never happen why there's no reason to say it'll never happen i will assume that shane mcmahon will outlive his father and if aew was around 20 more years i'm sure in the next two decades maybe vince mcmahon makes a cameo walking through or something like that but i think you would just be begging for it in multiple ways if you were to bring Shane McMahon in uh, to be a character. This is not WWE bringing in well, what are you gonna, you or can't, Eric listen, Bischoff, I don't think. He's a character no matter what if you That's bring him true. in or not. So That's true. Absolutely entertaining guy, but uh, I don't know. No, <laughs> well, Honestly, if you were going purely based on entertainment factor, what are the, what are the best ever? 
Well, look, he, <laughs> he's he entertaining. Would, That's no, there's he, no he doubt. Absolutely, yes. Tried, tries as hard as he can. There's no doubt about that either. He is, he is the best in the world. If you remember, he won the tournament to crown the best wrestler in the world that was put on by WWE. Oh my, WWE SmackDown is tonight in Rosemont, Illinois. Talk about a place that's perfectly convenient if you're coming from O'Hare Airport, just right there, uh, Allstate Arena. Money in the Bank qualifying triple threat matches. Kevin Owens against Andrade against Grayson Waller. There's another one with Randy Orton against Tamatonga against Carmelo Hayes. A segment between LA Knight and United States champion Logan Paul has been added. Universal champion Cody Rhodes responds to the bloodline. The name Caesar Sokoa has now been trademarked by WWE. I like that one, actually. That's pretty good. And CM Punk is in Chicago to give an update on his comeback. Drew McIntyre quit WWE on Monday night, walked out of there before the Wyatt family, uh, the Wyatt Six, laid waste to everybody, including Chad Gable, who is now out of the Money in the Bank qualifier coming up on Raw on Monday in Indianapolis. Tom, you think Drew McIntyre shows up and spoils CM Punk's good time in his hometown? He should. It's pretty quick to quit and then show back up on the next show, however. You would think. Uh, but I don't really see any other way that you do this. Do you look f fighters heal faster than normal men? It's been exactly six months since he went out with this injury. It is well within the frame for somebody to recover from this between six and nine months. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that he is, but when you factor in his age and all that sort of stuff, it would be a surprise to me if he's actually ready to come back and, I know there's been some buzzing that he's not ready to come back yet, but could you see him actually, whether he's ready or not, just saying that he is ready to pop the crowd? And even if Drew is not there, that could play into a storyline of Drew injuring CM Punk, who really is not ready to come back yet? Yeah, and then takes him out for a longer period of time. Take him, take, and then that takes you to SummerSlam, right? You could also have somebody else take him out. And set up a return program for him without Drew being the one to fight him right when he comes back. Although it has been reported that they're looking for, you know, Punk and Drew at SummerSlam. So, yeah, maybe tonight's the <clears throat> the false comeback for CM Punk. Maybe he lets us know he's ready. He's ready to get in the ring. Maybe, maybe as early as Raw on Monday, but he gets attacked and taken out at the Rosemont, in Rosemont. <laughs> When are we going to see Gunther? We need Gunther involved in something, beating somebody up. Beating well, he has, a, he has a title match coming up at SummerSlam, whether we like it or not, as That's true. part of the conditions of winning the King of the Ring. And when are not they going to Germany? I guess that's going to be the heat up around that point when they go over there for, um, oh, heavens, I, I forget what the pay-per-view is, but then there, you got that event coming up as well, too. So maybe it's just out of sight, out of mind right now until they ready up at everything that they got going on for him coming up. Yeah, WWE Bash in Berlin. Bash in Berlin. Mm. August 31st. Hmm. Interesting time to have a pay-per-view in Germany after Gunther gets his title shot a few weeks earlier at SummerSlam. Is anything going to be going on on that continent at the, around that time? Uh, yeah, I think a little thing called the Olympics will be taking place uh, a little bit prior to that, actually. They'll probably be finished by then. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.